Hello everyone, this is Know Your Mac on YouTube.com and today I wanted to showcase a very, very nice app that I'm really loving right now called Skip Tunes. and this was just recently released on the Mac App Store for a special introductory price of $0.99. Cents. And essentially what it lets you do is control iTunes or any other music player right from your Mac menu bar up here. And for a very long time, I've been looking for an application that essentially just lets me do these things like skipping to the next song or playing or pausing the current one all within my menu bar. However, it was just very, very difficult to find one that was both reliable and affordable. And this app pretty much meets all of my expectations. So you can see that it has a very nice simplistic style in your menu bar. It just sits up there. Uh, it doesn't take up too much space. And as soon as you tap on this little iTunes icon, you get a very nice sleek looking window. Again, the design is very simplistic. It's just all right in front. And you can see here that there's three buttons, one to play or pause the current song, one to skip to the next song, and one to go back to the previous. All very, very uh, simple and straightforward. In the bottom left, we also have a shuffle toggle. And in the bottom right, we have quit and preferences. So the preferences are very easy to use. The first one is just to start it at login, pretty self-explanatory. And the second one is display controls in menu bar. And this just refers to the play, pause, and skip buttons that are in the menu bar up there. If we turn this off, you can see that it only shows the iTunes icon. And then if we want to access the controls, we click there and then manually click them from this little sleek little drop down. Uh, so whichever one you like, if just say your menu bar is really, really cluttered, you can just have it in that format and uh, it really won't be too obtrusive. But then when you check that off, if just say you have a little bit more space in your menu bar, you are able to actually skip the song right there. Uh, also, the last setting in these in this preferences is the default music player, and this is just this is really great because uh, I personally I love Spotify. It's one of my favorite applications of all time, and uh, it actually does support Spotify if it's installed on your computer. And uh, you'll notice that when I go back to this little widget, it still shows that iTunes song. And the reason is simply because even though we set the default music player, it'll still only show what's currently open right now. So if I'm playing a song in iTunes, that's what's gonna come up. If I'm playing a song on Spotify, that'll come up, no matter what this default is set to. So it's very, very handy, very, very easy to use. You really should go check this application out, even if you don't listen to music that often. It's a great little utility to have. Again, it's a special introductory price of $0.99, cents, which will shoot up to $2 soon, so make sure you get your hands on this. There's a link in the description to go straight to the Mac App Store and download this, and I hope you guys enjoy.